Hello guys, welcome back to my Let's Play of Sepia Tears, and hopefully this time I have all the um, sound problems worked out. I believe I am in this one. Yes I am. And just to kind of recap what's happening, uh, I think we, we just found out that girl that kept who the, that girl was that kept the painting in the first place and I think now they're leaving no they they may be heading back to school I can't remember myself but they go tell Michael if she wants to talk to her all he has to do is come back to school at night and be alone I don't know why she be saying that. It's freezing. Neither of us are willing to step into the attack range or the icy one. <laughs> are you sure you want to go through it? This is not like we're actually going to study. I know. I know, but you got the new cold axle thing. Don't you understand? What the hell is a couple axe? Axel. It's cheap ja Japanese style censorship. They'll never guess what we're really talking about. And who exactly is they? You know. Damn. No one's listening. Although with my around, I can't be so sure. Ben and I walk over to Lucas' place without any mishap. Plus, all of mine is up here for the Oh, I hope you turn the heat on. I can't play with my fingers, but my fingers are cold. Don't worry, I'm sure he's comfortably huddled up in front of his computer. You'll see. That's odd. I just called and he said he would be here. I'm gonna freeze the death out here. Aren't you a little, at least a little worried that I'll freeze the death as well? Oh my, Captain You know I'll be gone before you. That's not the response I was looking for. Well, it looks like there's only one thing we can do. When Glad Mr. G was here to find the one. She's gonna try to kick the few door down, ain't she? I have a bad feeling about this. One, two, I please don't do we can't afford to. What what's this? A heavenly silhouette has come harvest my soul already. Life is what it is, I suppose. Goodbye, cool world. Um. What? She hit him? Oh, what just happened? I'm greeting, greeted by men's worry. Alright, that's enough. I'm alive already. No need to curse me for that. Huh. <laughs> that was dangerous. Don't you know that you share a lunge at someone's feet with your temple? Someone could have gotten hurt. Someone. Her eyes do seem a little teary, though. Man, just you know. It isn't polite to charge into other people's front doors without permission. Oh. I am... Um, sorry. This makes the pulse in my head a tad more real. Or maybe that's just the cold. Ah, look. There he is. Hey. 
Is this like his personal music? Cause it plays anytime he's on screen. Like at first I thought it was like the um the school music, but apparently it's Lucas. Sorry, I'm late. I had to run out and grab some things for lunch. Did I keep you waiting? There's an invitation in the snow scattered around his walkway. Ren is leaning on her left foot because her right is sore from the impact. And I'm too dizzy to tell what's happening. He looks from the indentation to Ren, looks at my head, then back to the indentation. Then he shrugs and locks the door. Grab whatever you want to eat. I'll meet you in the room in a few minutes. Okay. I start to thaw as we step inside. Ooh, we got the new Choco and Ice book. Guess that guilt's worn off already. She's scampered in there, Lucas' in the room, and we begin snooping around. I'm surrounded by 2D uh, This is heaven. Literally heaven. I escape from Ren before my soul gets sucked out of me. In the middle of the mess is a cluttered desk with a glowing monitor. A glowing monitor? So he left his computer on and unguarded I see. I admit I'm curious, but am I that curious? Uh, the first choice. That is kind of the far into the game for the first choice, but um, eh, whatever. Like I. I almost don't want to because, like, hmm, eh, I guess, so. let's see, yeah, let's do this. I read you the mouse and clear the screensaver with a dang poke. That's slightly disappointing, actually. I'm very glad, very glad, actually. He's just enjoying his regular dose of... Oh, honey Chan, have you finally given in to your temptations? Uh, what? I knew it was only a matter of time. So I'm, just, I'm just snooping. It's okay, alright, I've got this. I'll take a deep breath and try to think of an excuse. This is another time to be taking deep breaths. Just don't think, just talk. Uh, I just... Correction, don't think, just say something coherent. Really, we did only be shy. We both knew it would happen someday. It's not look like a swear the computer was like this when I got here. It's okay, Mark. It's normal to be curious. Will I ever get asked me precisely what you mean by curious? Well, you know. Well, you know, when looking at the screen, it's clear that they're about to. I see you finally fallen, Mark. F uh, oh, we must be talking about that um anime he's been trying to get him to watch or play or whatever. Every time he laughs like that, he does it for a reason. If you ever want to uh, borrow anything, don't hesitate to ask. I'm always willing to aid the unenlightened on in their journey to paradise. Lucas used dark invitation. It's super effective. <laughs> Hell no, the Pokemon music. <laughs> I fainted along with my reputation. I got an achievement, so. I guess that's the end of that. Lucas brings us a few glasses of water and sits down. I would ask why he has water when he just came back from the grocery store. But he probably has other uses for his money. Okay. It's art, not porn. 
still have you get decide what you, what you want to do. We can always take turns beating Morgan and then fighting me. Sounds like a plan. Don't I get a say in any of this? Obviously not, Morgan. Yeah, it's been a while. I remember when Ren and I used to come over here all the time, doing nothing but sitting around and chatting over some video games. It's strange, but part of me feels like those days have vanished. Are they gone forever? They couldn't be. Okay, but even if we're doing the same old things, I can't help but glance at the window from time to time. Mostly, wait, mostly when my chest tightens. Hey, Mark, you're blushing. I'm not. Right, three years ago. It's alright, I'm not teasing you. Well, maybe just a little. It's strange. I was different back then, but she's hardly changed at all. Cut it out already, I'm not in my Of course you say that. Maybe so, but that doesn't make it any less true. Don't you have anything to do? Yeah, not really, not unless you have homework. You've been on the computer all day, haven't you? I know you didn't end that sentence with a question mark. The school is boring. Besides, it's not like you're doing anything over there moping around. That's why you see moping. Okay. They told you I'm not. Expression stopping my tracks. I'm going upstairs, leave me alone. Fine. I'll just bother you again tomorrow. I feel her eyes on my back. Hey, that was me. It's real. Was that really how I felt back then? It all seems like a fade over time. Or maybe I just got numb. But there's no excuse to have ignored her like that. I'm sure she knows. She's not that dense. Someday I owe her a nice long talk. I want her to know that I care about her. And I don't care about you anymore. Wow. Wow. Did, did I win? Wow, because you he beat her. Good, you should wait. I'll have my revenge next time. You say that every time. Fine, man. Again, I'll try again. We're going to be here for a while, aren't we? By the time we left, our final score was 7 and 2. For her. Stop thinking so much. It's bad for your complexion. When, why would they the subway? Why would they just go there on the subway the first time? Anyways, what? Oh, I guess we're already on the train. Complexion side, yeah. I guess you're right. Right about what? The fact that you should stop thinking about Lillian? How can you say that with a straight face? Years of practice. Anyway, that's not what I was thinking about. I see. 
And were you thinking of wait a minute? Lucas said you went to ball one of his games. They just say they've had a lot to think about lately. I think that's sufficiently vague and truthful. Yeah, figures. Her voice trails off as she sinks into the background. If that doesn't say out of character, I don't know what does. Um, you okay, Ren? Huh. Of course I'm fine. You're the one I was worried about. Did you just say you were worried? No. You're not actually mad, are you? Of course I'm mad. Doesn't the pop vein make it obvious? It's just so weird that I get a chance to tease you. It doesn't count as teasing when you're cheating. How exactly am I cheating? I haven't figured that out yet. Seriously, I try to mess with you by snapping you out of your daydream and this is what I get? Not bad, huh? I admit, that was a good play. Wait, so this was all a plan to mess with my head? I wasn't actually worried about you or anything. I just didn't want you to fall asleep on some poor girl's shoulder. I guess I shouldn't remind her that I'm standing, not sitting. That aside, what made you think there was a reason to be worried? Well... You've been zoning out a lot lately. You were gazing out the window like an act in a soap opera. And you've been distant lately. That's all. Perceptive. Sorry. I know, it's no big deal. You have your own life and I know there are things you wouldn't tell me about. Don't say it like that. It won't be long, alright? There's something I need to sort out. That's all. The train screeches to a halt at our destination. Rin grins as she pulls Lucas off his gaming device, but I can tell it's a thin coat of paint. It's come to be cold. Not bitterly cold, but uncomfortably. Just cold enough to make you wish you'd wore gloves when your breath is barely visible. I think this is a girl I think this is Myra because of background change. It's the late fall equivalent of those drizzly days when you can't quite decide if it's worth taking out your umbrella. It's nostalgic. I pace back and forth to clear my mind, but it doesn't work. It's been years since I've seen him. Years. I should be excited, but something feels off. Gosh, it's cold. I'm not sure what I was, what I was expecting. Was he supposed to be the star of the football team? An emotional wreck. Just another guy. There's no way he's forgotten everything that happened. I was struck with the strangest feeling when I talked to him the other day. He was mesmerized, of course. But his eyes were empty. It was like staring through foster glass, virtually opaque. But I can't lose focus yet. I just wish I could shake the feeling that he isn't who he used to be. I guess three years is a long time. Mark, look, we're finally here. Where are we going in? The mall. What? Good, 
feel free to browse everyone. New customers are always appreciated. What? Yes, yes, you'll be amazed. We have an endless am amount of products. It's time. It's time. The golden land awaits us. Uh, just so I'm clear, this is a store, right? Well, yes. Okay, just checking. Well. I don't really want to ditch them, but when I consider the possibility of what's behind those doors. Just <laughs> stay far. Go in with them. Just, just see. Alright, I'll bite the bullet. Kick some common sense to the curb and what have you. I'm going in. Okay, I think I've heard Lucas mention the game. Maybe they're lining up for pre order As I wandered to the back of the store and searched wherever Ren and Lucas vanished to, I stumbled upon bits and pieces of conversation. I'm telling you, it's gonna be awesome. Pre-orders are going up next week. I hear the TV station site has an exclusive pillow cover too. Uh, I even know a guy who can get it across the border for you. I'm out of here. But what was it? Like he didn't even look at anything. A gust of cold breeze strikes my cheek. The hell? I look up and I find myself outside. Daydreams are a powerful thing. Okay, what now? The air cools my lungs with, ev lungs with every breath, but it's refreshing in its own way. It isn't too late yet, but the sun is already starting to set. Refreshed, I decide to take the scenic route back to the mall entrance. Hey, why is Lillian now disappearing? Did I just catch a glimpse of a UFO? Bigfoot? Oh no, sorry. It's just daydreaming Lillian. Oh, hey Mark. Strange to see you out on a Saturday. Shopping with Ren, I suppose? She blurs out a barrage of words. I might regret asking about this, but what were you thinking about just now? Nothing you need to worry about. She tries to glare angrily at me, but I can't quite say it's working. It wouldn't happen to have much to do with that shopping bag on the bench next to you. Of course not. Anyway, what are you doing out here? This isn't exactly weather for lounging. It's not weather for strolling either. She got you. You're sharp as ever. Me? Sharp? I'm not like this around everyone. Um. Oh, is there something on my face? Well, um, no. It's just... That sounded more coherent in my head. See, I'm only sharp around my soul with it, friends. Wow, Lillian. I wouldn't go out of my way to slow with it. So that's what she meant. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean. <laughs> I laugh a resigned laugh. It's alright, don't worry about it. I know you weren't implying anything. You're right, sorry. You don't need to apologize. Uh, it's Frida. Anyway, let's go for a walk. Sure, I'm just about fully rested. Alright, let's go.
I look away unconsciously as my stomach flips itself over. I can't believe I said it there for so long. It's cold. Yeah, it is. When I almost died this morning. Uh, what? It's nothing you need to worry about. I guess some stories are better left untold. Though that reminds me, my head seems to have stopped hurting. We can go inside if you want. I'm sure they'll be able to find this. No, it's all right. Besides, it's a nice day, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. I fit you with whatever I can find in my pocket. Um, how are things going with the library committee? Oh, we haven't had time, had anything much to do for a while. Things are winding down for the holidays. And I suppose you have no need to worry about midterms. Well, I usually spend about an hour a day studying, so there's no need to worry about tests. Schoolwork is easy once you study regularly. I know what she's going to say before she even says it. Shouldn't you be worrying about your test, Mark? Uh, I'll get through it somehow. Wait, let me explain. You see, some people are born hardworking and others aren't. I happen to fall into the latter category. That's your explanation. She shouts and hits me on the head. Okay. But not clear she was shouting. Literally. You know, if you don't work hard now, you'll never be able to get into a good university. And if you don't do that, you'll never get a good job. Then you'll never make good money. Doesn't this bother you even a little? Well, I guess you could say that it bothers me a little. It really doesn't bother me at all. <laughs> she knows that, but you can tell. You're doing badly enough as it is. What would happen if I weren't here to keep you on your toes like this? I'd probably be sleeping on the roof at school and playing video games at home, actually. Huh. You'd probably sneak onto the roof at school and nap your class on the way. And waste your time at home on games. That's what you'd be doing. Okay, you got me. Good. Honestly, you'd be helpless without me. Then I suppose it's a good thing I have you around. Uh, silence. The crowd, the traffic, the constant droning of nature all disappear. You're right. It really is a good thing. But if you seriously want to repay me, all you have to do is take care of yourself. Right. I take in a sharp breath of cold air, just where I need to cool my cheeks. You should come over. Anytime this week is fine. You can come over and I'll help you review. Oh, uh, sure. That would help. Um, that's fine with you, right? Obviously, I mean, he just agreed to come over. Like, don't ask annoying questions. Y yeah. My voice vanishes in a puff of condensation as the sun strikes my eyes. And... Hang on. I shouldn't lie to you. I'm not only asking you over to study. I open my mouth, but nothing comes out. It's just like it, it was with Myra. 
constraining, suffocating, dizzying. There's something that I need to tell you. You, you don't mind, right? No, I, I mean, or maybe I shouldn't. It'll make things more complicated and it's okay. I'll listen. I squint in the sunset. I hear her silently. Are you sure? If he said, if she said out loud, it wasn't silently. You could say quietly, but it's not silent. Won't this be a burden on you? Am I making the right choice? Are you sure you're ready to face your past? But in the end, it's probably just the sound of my own monologue. Okay. That makes more sense. Thank you, Mark. Her words turn to condensation before I can hear them. I think I might really need your help. I'll protect you no matter what. That line crosses my mind, but of course I can never bring myself to say it. I'll do what I can to help. As if it were all, all nothing more than a daydream, she steps toward me and the world starts spinning again. I'm still not sure what I'll do, but I'd appreciate it if you can if you could come over. Even if it's only as a favor. Don't worry about it. Besides, I owe you favors, don't I? Yeah, okay, she just disappeared. Is he still I mentally whine about the weather as my feet kick at the frozen dirt. Nothing happened. Nothing at all. I talked to a friend about schoolwork, and she invited me over to study, and... So, what why? Why her? Why not her? What, what's going on? Okay. Oh, I bru a bruise materializes on one of my knuckles after I punch the bench. Unsurprisingly. Screw it. This is a waste of time. I try to push myself off the bench. But, leaving already, that voice. I should be surprised, but somehow I feel like the most natural thing in the world. Okay, I hate to leave off in the middle of the conversation. I was actually trying to wait until the end of, you know, that conversation you was having with Lillian. But I'm going to end it right here and pick this up tomorrow. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed this part and I hope you're still interested in the story because I think it's gotten slightly more interesting because it feels like Lydia knows about Myra whoever Myra knows about Lily we have yet to see but maybe we'll find out in the tomorrow's episode I hope you enjoyed. See you guys later.